How's it going gamers? Luis here from Gaming Vlog Network and recently I did a tutorial on how to stream your PlayStation 4 games over to your Android devices. Now I know some of you guys have Xbox Ones and you guys don't have a PS4 but you still want to do a similar thing. Well I actually did a video on this a while ago on how to stream your Xbox One games over to a Windows 10 PC tablet or laptop but at the time that was only available to Xbox preview members now that feature is available to everybody. So I wanted to update the tutorial to teach you guys how to stream your Xbox One games over to your Windows 10 devices and then you could actually stream that stream itself over to an Android or an iPhone device to have it on your mobile devices like your cell phones. So first I'm going to teach you guys how to stream your Xbox One games over to your Windows 10 PC and then how to do that on your mobile devices. Now keep in mind, if you want to stream your Xbox One games over to your Android phone or your iOS device, you're going to need a very fast internet connection. I currently have in this apartment a 200 megabytes down or megabits down and 25 up. So that's my connection and my Xbox and my PC are both connected through Ethernet or wired. If you, for example, have your Xbox and your PC connected through Wi-Fi or just one through Ethernet and another through Wi-Fi, then you might be able to stream through Windows PC devices but not stream it again over to a mobile device. Regardless, let's get started with the tutorial. Connecting your PC to your Xbox One is really simple. Just open up the Xbox application on your PC and make sure you're signed into the same gamer tag that your Xbox is signed into. Go over to the Devices tab and you should see your Xbox One automatically there. If it's not there, you can go ahead and add it manually with its IP address. In order to find the IP address for your Xbox One, just go over to the Settings app, Network settings, advanced settings, and go ahead and copy the IP address and copy it into the Windows 10 application. Once you're connected, you'll actually have the option to turn on the console right from your computer, which you can go ahead and do so and then click stream. This should automatically connect your Xbox One over to your PC and stream whatever's on your Xbox One over to your PC. You can then use a controller connected to your PC, like an Xbox 360 controller, to control the entire device. Or if you're in the same house as your Xbox One, you can just go ahead and turn on your Xbox One controller and still navigate the stream gameplay with the controller connected to the actual console. And that's pretty much all there is to it, at least to connect your Xbox One over to your PC and stream it to a Windows 10 device. You can do this on a desktop, you can do this on a laptop, you can even do this on a tablet like the Surface. It's really handy for when you have family over and you can't use the TV but you still want to keep playing games. Or in my situation, I have my Xbox One in the living room, and I don't want to always move my Xbox One to and from my bedroom, so streaming is a nice option for me. Now, if you want to take this a little bit further and stream your games over to an Android device or an iOS device, like an Android phone, an iPhone, or an iPad, I'm going to show you how to do that now. But once again, I want to emphasize you're going to need a very fast connection, so I wouldn't recommend trying this through Wi-Fi at all. If anything, if you're going to do this, connect your Xbox One and whatever PC you're going to use through Ethernet. Now the reason we're going to need a very fast internet connection is because we're essentially going to stream a stream and play the game through that. Yes it's very cumbersome and yes it's not very practical, but if for some reason you want to try it out or you want to show off to your friends that you can play games from your Xbox One on your phone, here's how to do it. So first you're going to want to go over to Cortana and type in Remote Desktop. Go ahead and click on the option that says Allow Remote Desktop. And then when the window pops up, go ahead and check it off and click Apply. Once this is done, go back to Cortana and type in Network and click on Network and Sharing Center. A window should pop up with your connection. Go ahead and click on your connection and click Details. Now find the tab that has your IP address. We're going to need this in a bit. On whatever device you're going to use to stream to, you're going to want to go over to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Microsoft Remote Desktop application. Now open up the application and add a new desktop. It's going to ask you for three things, your IP address, your username, and your password. For the IP address, just add the IP address we got from the computer a little bit ago. For your username, use the username of the computer you're using, and then the password is the login. If you're using something like a Microsoft account, for your username you could use your email address, and for your password just use your password. So once that's done, just go ahead and connect to your computer, and you should see a stream of your Windows computer on your device. From here on out, we're just going to do the same thing we did before, open up the Xbox application, and stream our Xbox One over to our PC. So what's happening is our Xbox One is sending its game through a stream over to the Windows PC and our Windows PC is sending another stream of what we see on the PC over to our device. So we're seeing a stream of a stream on our Apple device right now and that's what we're going to use to play. So yes, this isn't really too practical, it's more of a way just to show off your console but you can do it if you really want to. At least on my connection I'm able to play games like the Rare Replay Collection, Halo 5, Sunset Overdrive 
and Rise of the Tomb Raider without getting so much of a lag where it makes me incapable of playing the game. With that said, your internet connection might vary and if you have something like Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet, then you should probably stick to just streaming this to your PC and that's it. Thank you all very much for watching this video, I hope you guys found it useful and enjoyable, and if you did, be sure to drop a like below so I know to make more videos like this. If you want to keep up to date with me off of YouTube, like ask me questions on Twitter or see what I'm doing behind the scenes on videos like on Snapchat, all that information is in the description below along with my gaming usernames for my PlayStation account, my Xbox account, Nintendo, and Steam. As always, thank you all for being some awesome viewers, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.